on the stand. I got brides in the night. Cause it got me in the front. Credit cards and scams. Yeah, but this is the band. Yo, 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 what is up? It's your boy PRS Night Stalker, aka Ryan. I'm um, bringing you a video. It's going to be on that controller that I bought. Um, I bought it about, pff, I'd say, two or three weeks ago. A little over a month ago. Um, I'm going to go into detail about it. Uh, I put it in my first video. I didn't really go into much detail. I didn't really show it. Um, all in all, it's a cool controller. Um, I mean, I guess... Uh, in all reality, it's kind of a scuff, kind of not a scuff. It's a different brand. Um, I met the company owner, I believe. Uh, he was at PAX East, and um, I bought the controller just because, number one, I liked it. Number two, you know, I needed it, and um, I kind of went into detail, you know. Being a gamer and whatnot, it's just like any other job, you know. If, like I was saying in the first video, if you're in construction, you know, you don't have that hammer that... You know that screwdriver you, you get in it so um you know it was time to uh you know I, I i have this one this is the one that i use prior to getting my new one really nothing wrong with it you know it's still in good shape uh there's some other features on this one that this controller doesn't have but uh, all in all this one still works i mean i still use it um but for most of the call of duty games and shooting games I'll be using this controller just because of the added features and stuff that it can do so uh, let's get into it so it came with a traveling case because um, I bought the controller and uh, then I asked the guy you know how much is a controller he shot a price at me I was like alright you know that's not bad um, granted it's gonna be more than sixty dollars because it's got some added features to it and then I was like oh you know how much are the cases and he was like, you know, I'll give it to you for this much because you're buying a controller. All right, sweet, clean deal. So we did that, clean deal. And um, so the front of the case looks like this. Uh, it's just got a controller imprint on it. It says aim controllers right there. And then it's got the little A inside the scope uh, on the uh, zipper. And then it's got like this little silver thing if you want to hang it on the back. It says technical equipment for for elite and pro gaming or gamers sorry hashtag team aim which is just probably their hashtag that they came up with which is pretty dope so then you unzip it when you unzip it i'm gonna stand up to open it it flips up you have oh all right well um all righty so there the controller is it sits in the little mesh backing which is this little indented part and then um the uh thumbsticks which um everyone should know the l3 and r3 they actually pop off so they're like kind of magnetic i guess is more or less the way you'd put it there's all different heights um just kind of like squid grip uh not squid grip it's kind of like um control freak sorry control freak i drew a blank you can get different grips, uh, different heights, different colors. Um, these are just standard. Um, I got the you know standard size. I didn't go up because uh, I just didn't feel comfortable to me. So there's the uh, part that sits in the controller. Uh, they have Xbox and PS4. Uh, so the PS4 has that little concave to it. Um, I got two purple and I got two uh, red like this. The other red one's stuck behind the controller. So as we slide the controller out of the mesh pocket um, oh there go the grips hold on give me a second alrighty so we're back in business alright um, you take it out so it's got on the back it's kinda got the splatter grip to it kinda like um, scuff scuff does have this the, the splatter grip uh, mine's black um, it's got the built-in trigger stops so it's like I was using it the other day the first time I used it ever I think I went 40 and 10 or something some dumb number it was like stupid i was like telling my friends how unfair it was so like you hold this the l2 and the r2 both have built-in trigger stops so you barely have to touch it for the gun to shoot which i mean for me is nice because um of the amount of competitive and stuff i play uh but being on the other side of it is uh it's pretty unfair you know it, it uh basically makes um makes your gun a lot quicker a lot it's like adding rapid fire without adding rapid fire if that makes any sense but you know it's just it's unfair like 
someone hits me and I get a hit marker and I turn on them and kill them, it's uh, crazy, you know. So I would I would probably rage if I was on the other side of the controller. Um, the front has like this cool design, so it's got uh, it's like um, I don't even know. It's got like skulls that kind of come up the side under the the L2. No, not the L2. The R3 and the L3. Um, it's got the little A embedded, the A for the AIM controller logo, and then it's got obviously, um, it's got matte buttons, no, there's no X, circle, square, triangle, they're not imprinted, it's just matte, um, and then the D-pad's matte, and then, um, like I was saying, so there's your, your R3, you just take this, and you just pop it in, and it just sits right in there, and now it's in, then when you take this out to put it away, you just pop it up, put it in, so it's cool, interchangeable. The other really, really cool feature that um, this one has um, is remappable. So I'm able to remap, um, I think it's up to like 12 buttons. Because on the back, I have a paddle on the left right there and a paddle on the right right there. So I can hold it like this and I can have a paddle here, a paddle there. Don't have to take my thumbs off, you know, my thumb off to hit circle, reload, or, you know, whatever. Whatever I have the L and the R paddle set to. Um, right now, I think it's set so that L is X, which uh, I play tactical, so that's jump for me. Um, and then the right is to use your melee or your you know butt kick with the gun in World War II. Um, I'm thinking about switching it up only because the simple fact is the right paddle set on circle for me because of the way I play um, doesn't really help me out. You know, I, I don't really use the melee or the butt kick all that often so I'm thinking leaving X on the left which would be my left paddle to jump not that I jump I'm more of a drop shotter so I push down on R3 and I drop shot so uh, I don't really use X all that much so I might even change that one but I definitely 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 think taking square putting square on either the left or the right would help me out because of the simple fact that when you're holding your controller like this playing um, World War II for example to reload it would be way easier to hit this paddle down here or down here than to reach across take my thumb off the grip to do that you know what I mean it would be easier just to bang reload run I don't have to use this button ever um, just like I would never have to use X for the time being but um yeah, you know what I mean? I feel like square is like, in a shooting game, square to reload is like one you will always, always use, especially in competitive, because you always want to make sure your clip is full. You know, you don't want to go into a gunfight. If you have a 20 round mag and you only have, you know, 10 or 5 or 6 bullets left, you're going to want to reload. And it's a lot easier to reload on the run than it is to stop have to take my finger off not only that it's tiring my thumb out you know moving back and forth back and forth um, it's a lot easier than going you know here to here here to here my thumb will get less work not that you know it's it's not that I'm lazy but it's that um you, you just you never want your you don't want your thumb stretching you know because that's when your hands start cramping and stuff like that you don't wanna you wanna minimize how much you move your thumbs you know you want to keep everything in close range you want minimal movement you don't want to have to reach to do something whereas you know I have the paddles I might as well use them um, so like I said for the time being left paddles X jump right paddle circle butt kick melee whatever whatever um, you have set up but um I'm probably gonna flip them around like I said uh, L1 and L and R2 you use a lot but that's for like throwing grenades so I wouldn't really put it as a paddle because it's not far to lift my thumb up or lift my index finger up as it is to move my thumb over to the the uh, square X circle triangle all that you know it's it's easier to move my thumb from R2 up to L1 no sorry R2 up to R1 because um they're they're basically right there you know it's only a half a step up it's not like I'm stretching way over like I would be you know, for the D-pad, for example, or for the uh, control X circle square. So, um, really, that's all it does. Um, so, more or less, it's it's still got the the jack right there, 
charger right uh not charger sorry mic right there not that i really use that because i have astros and then um other than that it's a basic controller with a paddle two two paddles and remappable buttons that's it you know it's just like scuff um definitely a lot cheaper than scuff uh a little bit better features you know i like that i can change the thumb grips um that kind of stuff uh you know, so more or less, it, it is a scuff, but it isn't a scuff. It's a more affordable scuff, and, um, I mean, I've been using it for, like I said, I got it three weeks, just about three weeks ago. I've probably used it maybe, I've been kind of busy, uh, so I've only used it a couple of times. I'm trying to get back into gaming more, live streaming more, getting you guys videos. Uh, so I've used it a handful of times, probably about, if I were to say eight times, seven times, um, this controller here, I strictly really only use for like when I'm doing my World War II videos, um, when I'm doing my Far Cry, like when I'm live streaming my Far Cry, for the most part I'm using this blue one only because uh, more comfortable. Um, and I kind of have, you know, it's it's nice to have one controller for one game, this controller for another. Keeps, um, keeps this one kind of nicer, you know, I don't wear the buttons out as fast, whereas, you know, this one's your just the standard controller you know I didn't really throw extra money into it so when that one wears out I get another $60 one to keep playing Far Cry with um so you know this one I kind of only use for serious serious gaming like World War 2 and stuff that I'm actually serious about competing in. and then you know Far Cry was kind of just the game series that I'm putting on my channel for hopefully to help views and kind of step away because you know playing the same game over and over again is like it's like you know, eating the same food every single day. Eventually, you want to kind of get off, and, you know, we all do, you know. I mean, yeah, I love Call of Duty, don't get me wrong, but uh, eventually I grind it so much that I'm like, you know, I'm sick of it. I want to try something new. So, with that being said, uh, that's going to take it to the closure for this video. Um, if you guys have any questions about aim control, um, if you have any questions about, you know, kind of what I spent, you know, just... Leave me a comment.